Okay, Peter, we're testing the moisture on the wall also. This was only 2.7, much less than the hand. We normalized it by getting a constant here? of the oh, hand. I'm just seeing the discoloration. See this discoloration? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just kind of brownish. Well, this is great because it rained, a soaking rain last night. Yeah, so this is a, a good... This is uh, about 5%. Uh, so this is low. Low. Oh, good. Low, yeah. Did we go outside yet? Yeah, he did. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. At first he was like, oh, this is great. There's nothing below grade. I'm like, come on over. <laughs> yeah, that's like 3.3%. That's good. So that's normal. So the walls have not yet going to the big damage you know, by this crack. It's in the early stage. Oh, good. In the early stage. So um, um, <coughs> not too bad. Uh, the only thing is uh, <coughs> the bad is that it's, uh, the, the bulging. So as we have, we, we have just discussed uh, how to deal with this one. Okay. Uh, the one is um, to the, the, the resource. The, res the resource is come from uh, the extra water pressure because uh, the phase grid in here is a flat. Yeah. Uh, Prevailing code, we need 5% slope away. Mm -hmm. 5%. And the second is uh, the, even so the grading is properly, then uh, we still need a, drain a drainage. Typically, we need a drain pipe around the foundation, around the Outside footing. Outside of the house. Yeah. Like a French drain. Per, per, code, per mm -hmm. code, we need uh, the drain pipe around the foundation from outside, yeah. uh, the, the drain pipe around. Then uh, either you, know, you go out to uh, some public, uh, the storm management system, or you need a sump pump to mm. pump water. Out. Uh, of course, when you pump out, you still need to <coughs> attach a pipe, Somewhere. go yeah. away, yeah. Um, but uh, in the old house, they may not have that one, or maybe already in the clock or... The well, here's cabinet. the drain right here. I mean, yeah. it could even go into this drain right here. Okay. No, 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 just for the internal. Inside. This one, this oh, one. that's the sewer. So yeah, yeah, about, yeah. Uh, the, just the, rainwater. Yes, we're talking about the from outside. Then the option two is... Uh, you could do that really equally, uh, too. We cut a slab from inside. Yeah, We and cut about two feet. Then I dig down all the way to the bottom of the footing. Yeah. Then, then you lay off uh, uh, lay another like four inch of gravel yeah. and the four inch uh, perforated the pipe uh, covered with gravel covered with concrete back now in some cases you need to drill you need to punch a hole to the outside insert the pvc pipe and the water from outside kind of like a weep hole yeah oh but that's directly attached to the, the yeah. pipe inside to the drainage because system the purpose you use for this one is to release the pressure from release the, the pressure right yeah. if you just use this a lot of people they just use the drain pipe from inside but they didn't punch a hole and they, they have some function, but not fully functioning because right. uh, the pressure still build up outside. Okay. So finally, the water will go in down, and then from under, they go into the pipe, and then they drain away. But that's slow because um, even so, you have nothing, no drainage system. The water finally will go away, but just temporarily build up. They cause this uh, crack, and the crack bigger. And when they dry out, they, they go back a little bit. Mm. And something is still in here, but in the heavy. Uh, the rain, if the snow cannot go away quickly, or uh, in some location, the soil we call the marine clay. That some kind of like a clay though. That's a, the, the soil they can hold the water for a long time. Right. So this one will increase the soil density mm -hmm. and uh, have a more pressure. So I can't remember where's the where's the staircase. The, where's the land? Like how below are we right here? Do you know? Um, below the, grade are we? I saw the uh, that the step somewhere from start here going down, right? So okay. from here to the front, we all it's all, under. all in the same. One hundred percent under grade, I think. Yeah, yeah. So to the top of the wall. Let's see uh, the higher of the wall. So Lu Yi, you don't think if that is the situation, then he doesn't actually need to reinforce the wall at all. It would just be the drainage. We need we we need the reinforcing. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're just talking about the, the drainage. That, that would just the, fix, yeah, right. That's the, this one is the eight. This is the eight is in here. So we have eight feet, see, Four. five inch. Wow. Yeah, this is a little bit tall. Yeah. So if this were your house, what would you do? I suggest we, um, if doing work from outside too costly, we do from inside. We install the drill pack, a yeah. sump pump. Then build another start wall. And do you have to do this room too? Or just this room? Just this. Whatever they have a crack, they have a bulge more than an inch. 
No, no, we just build another 2 by 6 stars wall. So this wall, more like a secondary protection, uh, permanent showing wall. Okay. This one, more like you have a person you know, holding this wall. Right. So they already bulged, just leave as is, but uh, no further this uh, bulge, uh, bow. So uh, this was structure wall. So they had to uh, anchor to the floor slab. The anchor bolted to the floor joist. Okay. So in this case, you are better because the floor joist goes in this direction. So we can have the another two by four, two by six, just to go in here. You know. Oh, that's all that's needed. Yeah. Because because you have to fix the drainage yeah, yeah, yeah. once that happens. Yeah, I did uh, see. But the, the great thing job. is, is this, this room is mm -hmm. not. It's going to be storage. Yeah. yeah. It so doesn't have to be fancy. So you, you feel like. It's finished, but actually this wall is not just a, a, a finishing wall. wall. This right. is a structural wall. Sure, I, I so have two functions. I did a ten similar design. Nine, eight of them they use uh, this kind of uh, the stars wall because it's cheap, mm -hmm. and also it's part of uh, the finished basement. So that's an, you couldn't see. You did a fail. It's a, a structural showing. Then two other people they do use uh, <coughs> the tube steel. Or the I beam. Yeah, like the steel two by four. I saw one inspect, but I did one inspection. The guy they didn't attach this one to the top properly. But you can see this one, the the, the steel tube is going this way. Oh, because dear. the wall squeezes this do, one. But what do we do with these? They need to. Yeah, can they move? You need to. Yeah, you need to. Onto the them, so. outside of the new wall. So move. it's almost like a framed wall, but it's been yeah. it's going to be tied into the floor tied. and to the top. Yeah, tied over here. Uh huh. Then uh, you see here. Yeah. So, but. Only in this location, they touch the, uh, yeah. the free wall. In the top, they didn't, they have a gap. Yeah. But you can have a shim. Sure. Horizontal in the continuous, like uh, one by something go continuous. Okay. And at the bottom, the same thing. Only the center touch, the bottom will not touch. Okay. So you kind of, you simply go in this way. Mm -hmm. The simply the anchor to the ground with uh, the, okay. uh, what do you call the, uh, I've seen that. Right. Yeah. Then uh, you have uh, the, the joist hanger to hold. Going this way to hold this one. Okay. Just like the joist hanger, they use the. So. And how many would be needed to take to support this? Just like regular wall. So it's like just seven. framing a wall, yeah. except you're going to tie it in. The real cost. So that's if he was going to finish this. The frame is ten grand, right? Oh, it's yeah. less than yeah. that. Yeah. I, yeah. Roughly, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, let's yeah. estimate conservatively. I know someone who did French drain for four. For the homeowner. You know, you can see what looking for the, the low cost, but for the buyer, you need to looking for the most like possible. Well, and you want it to be right. Yes. yes. I mean, that's yes. the thing. Like, I don't like to say, yeah. oh, it's only going to cost this much. Right. But, like, the job that might. That's why I'm asking you yeah. if you were buying this house, what would you do to fix this? Yeah, I would do. The, the one person uh, I did inside a similar issue. Then they decided to do the repairing, but they didn't uh, ask me to provide the engineering design. So they have a contract directly to the job. And that guy said, we do from outside. Then they do the excavation, install the drain pipe. But in some location, like they have a chimney, they have a front porch, they have you know, the higher, the, the uh, three step. They cannot install the, the drainage here. So they want to stop to and install the continuous drainage. Mm -hmm. Then there's an argument between them. Mm. So the why I see this one, and they also they didn't install this uh, the wall. I, I recommend them to do this, but they didn't do this one. The, the builder say we can in insert some rebar inside. The builder did a lot of work and charged a lot, but I say this doesn't work because the wall already bulged. Then I'm not trust that rebar can uh, function. Yeah. The best way is still doing this wall inside. Okay. And finally, they come back to do the design. Later. Yeah. But mm. uh, he doubled the cost. Right. So even right now, I still have an argument. Wow. So, yeah. so Lu Yi, you're not. This is just an, a report about your suggestions on what to do and how to solve this problem. Yeah. But if Peter bought this house and so and and he closed next month and he wanted to get the structural um, design, design, how much permit. is that? Building permit. And the building um, permit yeah, to do yeah. that. How much yeah. is that? That's about like last job I did is eighteen hundred. Okay. To provide the whole the whole design. Then, okay, uh, and then he can take that to any contractor who could just follow the plans. And that yeah. includes yeah. the permit. Do you get the permit too or no? Uh, you need to use that drawing. Typically, the builder will use this drawing. Mm -hmm. And he has to stamp because the structure. Because when I have that one, there's no argument between the owner and the builder. I right. Have to follow the same document. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So uh, then the county will come out to do the inspection for you. See, is there to the job, follow the drawings. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, builders say, I do this all the way 30, 30 years, no problem. Right. Then the, the, the owners say, no, no, this something is not right. The, the, the issue is that that guy did the job and they, they still have water leaking. Oh, no. Yeah, so that, that's okay. why I'm arguing. Okay, yeah. well, that's good to know. <laughs> and, well, so, and Lu Yi, knowing from the moisture content we've seen here and the cracking right now, mm -hmm. when do you suggest that Peter, if he, if he gets this house, when mm -hmm. would it need to be done? When would you suggest oh, that the time period he do this with him? Okay. Yeah, because now it's, uh, from now maybe to the uh, July, that's like the, the rainy season. Yeah. Then they have more water. But it look, looks like this one already in here, see. You know, Long time? Couple, see, 30 years, 40 years. Um, they will not collapse tomorrow. So, right. So, uh, yeah. Then they have not yet caused the flooding basement. Uh, Depend on their, you know, this, uh, their budget. If uh, they they have to wait, because when you buy a house in transition, then there's a lot of uh, down pay. The cost too much. Yeah. They run out of cash, so you maybe have to have to wait until uh, you know. You would suggest not ready. to go beyond a year, or could he wait five years, or he should do this in two months, or whatever um, it is. It is. Say no later than one year. Okay. Just give them enough time to uh, take a break and uh, do the work as okay. possible. Right? <laughs> Build Just up your savings, money, Peter. Say, yeah. <laughs> for the money can say, if, uh, if uh, for the pure structural concern, you need to do this immediately because it's okay. uh, the bulging too much. Okay. Yeah. If it, I think I told you this before. Like you have a string. It's very straight. Then you push this down. Mm -hmm. They will hurt your finger, but they will not uh, cause this uh, the buckling. But if this is already buckled, it's easy to push it, Yes, down. the timing is... It's very easy to uh, buckle. Right. So this is very strict, the, you know, the, the, the stick, you know, the, they can carry, say, 100 pounds weight, you push it down. But if this is already buckled, 10 pounds, okay. maybe, boom, easy right. to broken. This same concept, they were already bulged. And we're not concerned with this. I will just do the measurement now, so I'll see is that uh, okay. the bulge... Uh, yeah, you say you can see the bubble, it's almost centered. Oh, okay. So this not that worse. Just cracking, but not bulging. Yeah. You see that it's something like, like this one, like, but this one here, the bottom may have an issue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's where the water would... You see, you see like, they go like this one from mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And with that, we can do the measure. We have to use the, 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 the string again. To use We're going to use the string plum. again. Plum. It's called an auto plum. <laughs> So we're doing the same thing um, on the west wall as we did on the north wall, Peter, to measure, because so the, the pipe continues to measure. So, so far what we have is, um, at least against this north wall, needs an interior French drain. You can do an exterior one, but um, you, saw, you heard the Louis explanation about the interior one. And then the framing, structural framing of the uh, w new structural wall against the concrete block wall. Um, so if you wanted, so in the permit, con the construction and the structural drawings with the structural engineer stamp um, to get the permit would be 1800 And then the cost of doing a French drain and then the cost of a frame out wall. Um, as what we have so far. We're just going to find out if we also need to do this wall here. Yeah, there's a, if uh, the, the deflection... The, okay. okay. All right. So I sent, uh, um, you sent me an email. Uh,